here's why I try and sneak and pay the bill for people who make 10, 20, 50, 100,000 times more money than I do. Today I was at lunch with a buddy who came to visit me in Medellin, Colombia, uh, and he makes over $500,000 per month profit from his business. And then he invests all of that money into real estate. And he probably makes another fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 per month in just real estate income. So this guy makes a ton of money. And so we were at lunch, we were getting a bunch of appetizers, steaks, just a ton of food. And it was a couple hundred bucks, whatever it was. And I snuck it off and I paid the bill before the waiter even got there. And this is something that I do incredibly frequently, but there's a ton of reasons why I do this. One, this person's double my age. All the people I hang out with are just about double my age and a million times more successful than me. And what I've seen from hanging out with those kinds of people they are always used to paying 100% of the bill for however many people they go out with. I mean, I remember my first time going out with George, the guy whose logo I got tattooed on my leg and how I got my first ever job. I... My first time going out with him was when we were living in Arizona. And there was probably nine or 10 people who went out to dinner. Then we went out to a UFC fight and the entire night was probably $30,000 and he paid for everything for everyone and everyone else there was successful. And seeing that was just so inspiring to me because being able to support all your friends and your family and everyone that you care about is such a fantastic feeling. But when you are in that position, you also have friends and family who try and leech off of you for everything, for absolutely everything. And I've seen this because all I hang around with are super rich old people. And I can visibly see people leeching off of them. And to me, that, that's, that kind of sucks. And so I try my absolute best to pay the bill once in a while when I'm out with them. I'm obviously not in a financial situation to pick up a $10,000 bill, if that's what it is. But I, I know that they have, I know that George and all these guys that I hang out with have friends that they've hung out with for 10, 15 plus years who have never paid a bill, not even a small dinner. And I know the fact that I'm young, they appreciate that. And I keep on getting invited back out with them and more opportunities and then they want to introduce me to more friends and then I get more jobs or clients or anything that I'm looking for. I've noticed that everything comes along with not trying to just hoard every single dollar that I make and be more generous because the richest people that I know are the most generous and they hardly ever feel any generosity towards them. And so I think when you are a young person, there's a unique opportunity to provide that kind of generosity for them because one, they are expecting to pay for you because you are younger and uh, especially if you are working with them or they're paying you for your services, they expect to pay for you. And this is actually how I got one of my clients. I, I actually got a few of my clients this way, not, not quite, but they're the one person that I've never talked about, my highest paying client who he wishes to remain anonymous. I was in town, he lives in Florida, and I was in the Florida area and I asked him if he would get dinner. And because I have built this network, he said yes. He came out with his whole family, I had one friend with me. So it was him, his three kids, his wife, my friend, and the dinner was a few hundred dollars. And at the time I was only making like $5,000 per month. And I snuck off and paid the bill. <laughs> I just knew that it would pay off greatly. And I always would see George do that. George would just always have the bill covered. And I just wanted to be more like George. And I did that. The next day, I started working with him. <laughs> and ever since then, he's been my highest paying client. Same thing with George. I remember this so well. When I, so just to give you some backstory, I got George Gammon's logo tattooed on my leg took my first ever flight from Boston to Arizona where he was at the time. My first time on a plane when I was 18 years old and I was in high school. First time ever on a plane, went to go meet him, got his email because I, I went to go meet him and went to his birthday party who he just said on his YouTube channel, anyone could go to. 
which I was crazy enough to go. And because I got the tattoo and we had a decent conversation, I ended up getting his email. Then he had a live event, which cost a few hundred dollars to go to. I, I went there, spent all the money I had going there, and I made a ton of connections. One of the connections offered me a free flight to meet him in Vegas, but we would have been driving through Arizona. Coincidentally enough, where George was. And so I just threw it out there to George. Hey, I'm going to be in the area. Can I buy you dinner? And this was a multi, multi month process, multi month. And at this point, I was completely lost. It was a shot in the dark. I was super nervous to do it. And he said yes. And I knew that he probably would not have let us pay for dinner. So, and we went to the restaurant a few hours before we were supposed to meet with George because I, we were adamant that we were going to pay for the bill. And Justin, me and Justin ended up splitting, who is one of my best buddies today. He's actually going to be visiting me in Columbia here in to Thursday, actually. He's going to be visiting me here in Columbia on Thursday. And so, one, I took a ton of risk taking a flight that this guy was paying for because he had arbitraged the airline mileage. It's long, long, long story. So this was my second time on a plane meeting him in Arizona to where then we would drive to Vegas. But that's how I started working for George. And everybody at the time said I was drop dead crazy. People literally said, oh, you got a sugar daddy, you're getting raped because I was still in high school at the time. And so I remember this so vividly, people saying that I was the stupidest motherfucker they've ever met and this was the last time they were ever gonna see me because I was going to be dead. But it was the single best decision I've ever made. And since then, every time someone has called me the craziest son of a bitch in the world, the return on investment is the highest. And so <laughs> I'm not saying just to do crazy shit for the sake of it, but there's asymmetry because other people are not doing things and not taking some sort of risk. That is deviated from the point of the discussion. I try and pay for the bill most times when I'm out now because I am not concerned with saving a few hundred dollars now. I am thinking big picture. This is something that Ken says every single day. Just think big picture. And if I'm, if I'm thinking about a few hundred dollars that I spent on dinner paying for people who are much richer than me five years from now, then I've done something wildly wrong and I have not accomplished what I've, I've set out to. So I'm not telling somebody to go pay the bill next time they're out with their friends or business colleagues or trying to make an impression, but I'm telling you it does make an impression and these people definitely appreciate it. The last time I was out with George and all his friends came to town all of his friends have a ton of money, but George was still always paying the bill. And I was looking at him like, dude, you're spending like five grand a night. And I just felt bad. I was like, I, I, <laughs> this is a terrible situation to be in. None of your friends ever offer to pay. And so I paid the last night when we went to this place called Pub Rock and it was like a $1,200 tab. And I know that George appreciated that a lot. And he's done absolutely everything for me. So while I'm trying to just return the favor of all of these super successful people helping me so much, I'm just trying to return the favor and be more grateful and show that with gratitude. And ever since I started doing that, I've started to get way more clients. I've started to get way more opportunity and, and my income has gone up a ridiculous amount with it. I don't know if there's anything to having a, a fixed mindset or being super frugal, but I've noticed in my own life when I am less concerned with money and all I'm, or if I'm less concerned with spending money and just concerned with how can I make more and hyper obsessing about instead of thinking how I can save an extra thousand dollars, how can I make an extra hundred thousand dollars? When I think in terms of those types of opportunities, everything else has come along. And so I'm going to continue to do that because I, I know that these people never experience that. And when they experience it from a young person, there is a very, very high effect to it. So why do I pay the bill when I'm hanging out with super, super rich people? I usually don't. But once in a while, you just slip it in there and everything, everything that I've noticed has worked out for the better because of